guys welcome back to my channel it's Debbie and today I am going to create a mermaid inspired makeup look just because my hair feels very mermaid ish um, and yeah so I just figured I would do something and I don't think I've done anything like that on my channel so I figured I would come on here and do that for you guys today just to start off I am going to apply a piece of tape I'm going to do this on both sides and I usually like to put the tape on the back of my hand, stick it, and remove it a couple times so it gets easy to remove. And it's not so harsh on the skin. Okay, so now once you're done applying tape, I am going to prime my eyelid. And I'm going to use the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This is lightweight, invisible finish, and works on all skin tones. So I'm going to apply that on the lid. I'm just going to take a brush and apply that all over. Next, I'm going to grab a little bit of translucent powder just to set that. And I'm just using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Okay, so for my eyes today, I am going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette and I am going to create somewhat of a mermaid look. To start off, I am going to grab this shade right here. I know these shades have names, but um, I don't know where that little thing is, the little paper that came with it. So I am just going to grab that first color on the second row and I'm going to grab my tapered blending brush from Sigma. It's the E40. And I'm just going to apply this onto the crease for a nice transition shade. Once I'm done with that shade, I am going to grab this dark green right here. And I am going to apply that on the outer corner with my Morphe M433 brush. And I'm just going to place that on the outer V, just like that. Okay. With that same brush, I'm just going to clean it off a little bit on a paper towel and I'm going to grab this shade right here and apply that on top of that shade, that dark shade. And bring it in a little bit to soften up the look. Oh, this is so pretty. I like how this is coming out. Okay. So now for the shade, let's see. I am going to grab, hmm, let's see. All right, so I'm going to grab my MAC 242 brush, and I'm going to grab a little bit of this shade right here, this first shade on the last row, and I'm going to apply that onto the lid. Okay, I'm going to go back in with that 
M433 brush and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that dark green again which is this one right here and I'm going to just intensify that shade just a little bit more because I feel like I got lost with all that blending and create some type of definition you know I'm going to go back in with that other shade, which is this one right here. And I'm going to go back into that with the same brush and go over top. For this look, I am going to apply some liner, so I'm going to take my Inglot Gel Liner and I'm going to take my Tarte brush and just apply some liner. Okay, so once that liner is done, I'm going to remove the tape. And you have the perfect liner. So that works really, really, really great. I love using tape for looks like this. Um, it just turns out so perfect and you don't really have to worry about messing up because you use the tape as a guide. So um, now for the face, I am going to prime my face and I am going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and this is a moisturizer and primer in one. So I am going to apply this all over my face. I'm also going to grab a little bit of this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and just apply that onto the pores area, which for me are right here. So for foundation today, I am going to use my favorite, which is the Super Stay Foundation by Maybelline. And I am going to grab a little palette. I already used this. I used this for my eyeshadow primer, but um, now I'm going to actually use this back, um, this to apply some of this foundation. I did just two pumps, and I'm going to grab Maybelline's Master Strobing Liquid in Illuminating Highlighter in the shade Deep Gold. This is number 300, and I am just going to apply a little bit of this onto that right there and I'm just going to mix it up and I'm going to take my damp sponge and just blend that together so I get an illuminating uh, foundation. All right, so now that I'm done applying my foundation, I am going to grab the Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define. And right now I'm just going to use the shade C9 and apply that. I love this um, concealer. It's so creamy and the applicator just applies it so nicely. It really is an amazing concealer. I'm going to go back in with that Real Technique sponge and just blend out that concealer.
To bronze up the skin, I am going to go in with this foundation and concealer from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to grab a... Let's see. I'm going to grab the shade right here and just apply that. I'm going to grab my Sephora Pro Small Stippling Brush and I'm just going to apply that. And now we're going to set everything and I'm going to go back in with that Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm going to grab that with my Real Technique sponge. Leave that on there for like a quick second or two. And I'm just going to go in with the LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette. And I'm just going to set that cream contour. And for that I am using my e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of this shade right here. I'm going to go in with this Revol Makeup Revolution Soap X Highlighter Palette and I'm just going to grab a little bit of this purpley shade and a little bit of probably this white shade or maybe mix these three together. Um, let's see. I'm going to grab my Royal and Lang Nickel Fan Brush and I'm just going to literally just grab both these highlighters and apply that just like that. Crazy. Really like it. I'm gonna add some of this white. Ooh, god damn. All right, so I am going to get that highlighter a little bit. I feel like it's like all over the place, but there we go. I just blended it out with this Morphe M510 brush. And it just looks 10 times better. I'm also going to grab a little bit of this white one right here and apply that on the inner corner of the eye. So it gives it a little bit of a pop. And I'm actually going to apply that on the brow bone. Don't worry guys, I know I haven't done my brows yet. I will get to that. I have to fill in my brows. And for that, I am going to grab, of course, my BH Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette. And I'm just going to brush out my brows. And using my favorite brush, which is honestly the only brush I use, is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills number 12. I'm going to grab some of my powder and just fill in my brows. All right, so now that I'm done filling in my brows, I'm gonna go back into the eyes and I am going to grab a little bit of that dark shade, that dark green, and apply that on the lower lash line. And for that, I'm actually taking my MAC 242 brush. All 
I'm gonna grab a little bit of this other lighter shade right here. We're pretty much following the same steps we did on top. I'm just going to blend that on the bottom as well. And last but not least, I'm going to take that shimmer shade right here, that shimmery turquoise shade, and apply that. I am going to grab a little bit of this Maybelline Lasting Drama. It's a waterproof pencil. It's in this emerald shade. Ooh, I like this. It's really, really creamy. Alright, so now we're going to go into lashes. And today I'm going to use the Ardell Whiskey Lashes. And I'm just going to apply these really quick. And I'll be right back. All right guys, so now I'm back. I finished applying my lashes. I applied a little bit of the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on the lower lashes. And now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of blush. And this is in the shade Coral, C Coral Cove. And this is from Milani. Just gonna grab literally just a little bit. And that's it for that. Um, next, I am going to grab my lip liner, and today I am using, what is this? This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Rush. And for lipstick, I am going in with the Urban Decay Back Talk. This is a comfort matte shade. Ugh, very pretty. I feel so mermaidish right now. Ooh, this is really gorgeous. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this pink highlighter, or maybe even this one. Uh, I'm gonna go and grab that with a brush and apply that on the lips. Just like that. Okay, and just to set everything, I am going to go in with this NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Spray. I've been loving this spray, I've been using this pretty much every single day, and here I go. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did. I really love emerald shades. This is just definitely what I love. It's not something I do all the time, but I figured today because my hair, I just did it earlier. Um, I figured I would do something that goes really, really nice with this hair style. So um, this is what came out of it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you have not yet. And don't forget to click that notification bell down below. That'll notify you when I upload any future videos. So that's pretty much it. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.